I want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I didn't come all this way to let you die. We'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. This should come in handy. Ugh! <sighs> 
take you on! Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the doors. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. It's better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Watch out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're all loading... Troops. Watch your back, Shepard.
incoming. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. We'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. Make sure the collector's been... Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. 
I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? 
I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. You'd be my first mate? I'd lead the boarding party, and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Stay focused. 
We're looking for a Krogan warlord. That bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. You're not in the best bargaining position. I'm looking for a Krogan named Okir. Who? <laughs> you already know more than I do. I just kill Krogan. The old one in the lab dumps crazy ones down here all the time. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. You heard the man on the radio? He needs direction. I... I don't have the info they want. You showed up before I could get my normal sightings. You have other problems. Patrol, uh... Uh, pack sighting east of Station 2. Yeah. Copy. East of 2. Son of a bitch! They'll run blind into Krogan. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Funny. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation. Legal. Hostile. Stay <laughs>
different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Night cycles? Seven days? He must know something about all this if he survived this long. Survive? Yes, I must survive, but not here. Not against these fleshy shapes. I must survive the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before leaving Glass Mother. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be judged. I still don't know what the goal was, though. I don't know, but I am not perfect. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab? No. You're giving up? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp.
Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer? Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. No one in Saren's lab was worth saving. Bringing that up won't help you here. Yeah, I'm not proud of what went on there, but I'm using what we learned for the greater good. Not for the Mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Time to run again, Rana. You never know what I might blow up next. Suppose I can't expect a warm goodbye after the last mess. Don't worry. I'm staying the hell away from whatever you do and wherever you go. 
Thanks anyway, Shepard. I'm all for second chances. Not so sure on third ones. Here you are. I've watched your progress. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. Not the smartest way to greet the heavily armed group that just kicked in your door. I'm sure whoever sent you doesn't want me dead. No one looks for me without a motive. Certainly not the deceased Shepard. Surprised. Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I make no apologies. It was the most efficient solution. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. I'm getting you out of here. Cerberus has interrogators who can figure out if you're useful or not. Any group that's spent enough to rebuild you won't care what it does to me. Perhaps we can strike a deal. One that secures my prototype. It is key. That weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Sorry, Doctor. It appears your position has just weakened. I understand. But you'll have nothing if she poisons us all. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done.
alarms in the lab. What's that Krogan doing up there? Shepard, the lab alarms coincide with the contamination detected. Emergency event in progress. Contamination detected. Emergency event in progress. someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan. Crack it open. Let's see what a pure Krogan's got. Do we need the trouble of a pure Krogan? The normal ones are hardly team players. We won't know until he's out, which is too late if there is a problem. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. Edie, how quickly can the cargo hold be vented to space if there's an issue? 28 seconds, Shepard. And if anyone else is in the hold at the time? I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL. In a this allows lag-free communication, even That's all for logging now. you out, Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. 
He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad, then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. A Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. <laughs>